There are so many phobias out there. Clowns, spiders, heights, even food with holes in it. It's hard to keep track of all of them. And if you get 100 people together, at least 12 of them will have some kind of phobia. One is probably scared of the other 99 people. But did you know some people are deathly afraid of falling asleep? It's called somnophobia, and it's a genuine fear that many people with PTSD and other sleep disorders live with. But what constitutes a phobia, and how can someone living with somnophobia overcome their fears? First, let's establish some rules. The perfect potion, if you will, for what creates a phobia. The first ingredient is fear or anxiety related to an object or situation, like clowns or heights. Next, that fear only manifests when you're exposed to that object. So thinking about a clown doesn't freak you out, but seeing one at a birthday party will send shivers down your spine. Next, you'll do everything you can to avoid that trigger object. And being around it basically cripples other areas of your life, like work, school, and relationships. Finally, it counts as a phobia if your fear is excessive compared to the actual danger it presents. For example, clowns with a balloon animal are harmless, but to someone with a fear of clowns, it might as well be a clown with a bloody chainsaw. So, does somnophobia meet our criteria? Somnophobia is the fear of falling asleep, and the trigger here could be anything sleep-related. Pajamas, pillows, even seeing a mattress in the store can trigger anxiety. This can induce sweating, increased heart rate, and panic may set in around bedtime. Someone with somnophobia will do everything they can to avoid falling asleep. And as we know, a lack of sleep can lead to some serious health consequences down the road. Obesity, heart disease, diabetes, basically anything that stems from a lack of sleep goes hand in hand with somnophobia. But where did this fear come from? Most research indicates phobias develop from genetic and environmental factors. Somnophobia draws a line from PTSD and the nightmares that come with it. Therefore, if they don't sleep, they can't have nightmares. Wait, isn't there a horror franchise based on that? <laughs> if you suffer from somnophobia, there are a couple proven therapies that you can try in order to conquer your fear. First is exposure therapy, which involves incrementally exposing yourself to what you're afraid of. For people with somnophobia, that might be putting your PJs on when you get home from work. Then after a few weeks, maybe it's introducing your bedtime routine a bit earlier. The idea here is to keep exposing yourself to scarier things over time, in hopes of diminishing the fear. You can also try Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, which changes the relationships between thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Many therapists use CBT to treat anxiety disorders, but it's also been proven to combat people's phobias. We've all had bad nightmares, but you can't let those scary dreams dictate your waking life. Somnophobia is real, not some made-up fear affecting the teenagers on Elm Street. If falling asleep makes you anxious at night, if pillows, sheets, and mattresses give you goosebumps, it might be time to talk with a professional to get to the bottom of your somnophobia, your fear of falling asleep.